much lead in the water in one upstate city than is legally allowed. Belton city officials are working to make sure people take precautions and the water authority is scrambling to solve the problem. Yeah, now we're learning it was a change made a few years ago that got us here. In a city of 4,000 people, word travels fast when something as serious as high levels of lead is found in drinking water. This morning they announced over the news that all the children and babies need to get tested for lead, so I called and got an appointment. He's going at 145 to make sure he's okay. Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> Today, Belton residents had a thirst for the facts. I'm not happy about that, but I don't know what the answer is other than change your pipes. Let's start with the good news. The Belton Honey and Path Water Authority does have a solution. And we figured it's best to add a corrosion control program. Uh, and what that's going to do, it's going to, you know, coat the pipes out there, you know, and we decided to just do it from here at the water treatment plant and that would serve, you know, everybody. The city is confident the lead problem does not originate at this water treatment plant because lead tends to leach into water that's been still, which is much more common in the pipes going from the main line to a home. But that doesn't mean the water authority isn't part of the problem, which leads us to the other news. In 2015, we sampled, all our samples were firm. 2016 is when they changed the additives. And for the past three years, those additives have not included corrosion control. And we've never had problems before. Never since the Environmental Protection Agency began requiring tests in 1991. The city says the new additive may take up to three months to work, but there is an immediate solution. And if you have a concern, just turn your water on for 30 seconds and let it flush and it'll be fine. That was going to do some research, but now I don't have to because you, you've enlightened me. Well, we like to help out there. Now, you might be asking yourself, what can happen if you or a loved one drinks water with lead for too long? It's most dangerous for children, and we talked to a doctor at Prisma Health about why he says that it can cause serious developmental delays. Sitting up, walking, running, uh, using their hands for fine motor things, talking, receiving language, speaking language, and just the general attitude of the child. Now, children get screened twice before the age of two for lead levels, but even after that, it's really easy to go in and ask for a blood test for you or your kids if you are worried that one of your family members might be exposed. And back to Belton, officials are just relieved, Tom, that the government mandates that this testing be done at least every three years. Um, that testing began in the Belton area in June, and at least it was discovered. Well, uh, we, we know how it happened. We know what to do about it individually. But let's answer this. It's January. Yeah. This testing was done in June, and we're just hearing about it. This is something that a lot of people are talking about. There's a standard procedure. Once the first testing begins, then they actually have to do a second round of testing just to make sure. Mm -hmm. So there is a process that elongated the public knowing, but I think there's a lot of people living in Belton who would have liked to know a little sooner sure. once that original test came out. I think anybody would want to know sooner. Yeah. All right, Diane, thanks for looking in.